Um, I'm just wondering if the ship we're on is going to have a crowbar before I go any further. I need a Don't crowbar. all ships come with a standard fire axe in the breakaway container glass yeah. thing? Um, sure. Yeah. It's a bit, it's a bit like <laughs> yeah. of any the, species, like for tentacles or whatever. Okay. All right. Uh, sorry, sorry to interrupt. We're, we're, we're good to go. But yeah, if there, if there so happens to be a crowbar we can pick up as a team leader, that would be great. All right. Go Maybe ahead. it's just a bladed disc or like a metal spike on the wall, but it's got to be red and with a black ink on it. This is Wally the Pack Rat. All right. So, uh, <laughs> as Fred said, Spaceballs is a parody on Star Wars. So it's going to be basically Star Wars universe, but everything's wrong and funny. Um, <clears throat> we will start off as you all groggily come to consciousness. Um, you are not sure how you got here. You, uh, if you have skin, feel a lump on the back of your head. If you don't, there's a dent. Um, <clears throat> and, uh, you hear a voice coming out of the darkness all right they're finally awake oh my goodness i can't feel and my toenails <laughs> who was that name's Vinny. you're gonna have a great time and as your vision starts to come to you look around and you are inside a limousine um spread out on the couches uh, that line both sides. Windows almost completely dark. You can barely see stars moving around outside. Um, and the interior of the limousine is not black. It is covered in this terrible, awful, gaudy, st like stock repeating image of the surface of a pepperoni pizza. The seats are covered in it. The ceiling is covered in it. The uh, nasty rug on the floor used to be covered in it. Um, and all of you are worldly enough to recognize something owned by Pizza the Hut. A oh, notorious shit. gangster <laughs> in this quadrant. Yeah, it's all coming back to me. What do we do? How am I ever going to get this out of my suit? Oh my goodness, where is my handkerchief? What did we do? <laughs> what do we do? Don't Probably you what we... worry about that. And you finally find the source of the voice, and you can see this uh, robot uh, with a very angular face wearing a gaudy pinstripe top hat and suit as, and wearing um, shades that are, I don't know what they're called, but they look like this. Like Venetian blinds? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. 1980s shades, yeah. <laughs> hmm. I'm glad you're all finally awake. Now we this can get light. started. And this is Vinny, Pizza the Hut's right-hand man and driver of this here limousine. Excuse me, excuse me. I have a doctor's appointment. It's very important that I attend. If you could just drop me off in the nearest corner, I would be so grateful. <laughs> Tough luck, stranger. No doctor's appointments where we're going. I'll lean over to uh, Ham and whisper, it's probably what we didn't do, boss. Did you sign up for any contracts or something? That... No, not that I can think of. Uh, let's see here. Papa John's, Domino's, Godfather's. No, <laughs> not that I can think of. Uh, uh, funny you should mention. You see... Our good friend Pizza has a feud ongoing with Father John. And it's him we're going to go see. We're going to see Father John? Papa? Well, yes, he's only Pizza the Hut's most infamous rival. Oh, are we on our way to a job, boss? Uh, my talents are not in the vein of assassination. Perhaps I could do some research for you. Perhaps in a safe corridor away from here. Yeah. Um, 
should have thought of that before you fell into pizza's debt. Me so yeah, confused. <laughs> so we are not currently armed and equipped with all of our gear. You are. You oh, are yeah. currently are. You have all of your gear. There's uh, there's a um, there's a divider. Vinny, while he's driving this limousine through space, mind you, um, mm -hmm. is uh, speaking to you through like a window that's been rolled down behind him. Note to self: Don't shoot the inside of the spaceship. Mm. Important safety tip. So wait, I'm, I I think I missed something because I'm just crappy at multitasking. Um, so he's on the other side of like the, the tinted window thing. So he's like driving. Yep. yep. Then he's Come driving. The rest of you window. are hanging out in the back of pizza. The Hut's stretched limo. So this, this, on, this is like, doors. um, the last starfighter where we're getting picked up by, um, the guy after we've won the, uh, arcade competition. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> mm. I'm just wondering if I see any other people with my heat vision. Um, I will say roll the game's first check to see if you pick up anything with heat vision. Checks Sorry. are D8s, is that correct? Uh, depends or, on your character sheet. Mm. Is if that heat you, vision uh, accurate enough? Your character sheet to... will tell you if you have anything that applies to this check. Um, in this case, good sight would help. Um, then uh, you get to use that. If you have something that takes away from uh, your check, like a wound that hinders your sight or a um, uh, something that something else, some struggle that hinders it, uh, then you'll have to use the higher die. In this case, mm. a d10 if nothing applies. D10. A three. Um, you don't pick <laughs> up any people with your heat vision, but you notice that um, not only is the back where the engines are, uh, glowing red uh, with heat. That makes sense. It's, I mean, they're ro it's a rocket ship limo. Um, that's going to be hot back there. Um, but you also see that Vinny is not giving off any heat whatsoever. He's as cold as the chair he's sitting in. Is that unusual for a droid? No, that's not that unusual. Um, who's like sitting just to my left? Whoever that is, I just go, I think he's a vampire. I think so too. <laughs> we Anybody else hungry? I'm hungry. I'm, I'm just going to whisper to the who is closer. I don't know who it is. Um, we want to go. Do we want to get out? <laughs> I'll, I'll look out the window. At, I don't think there's anywhere to get out right here. Um, Are we going for a walk? <laughs> Through space, not Trust me, you don't want to open those doors. We Besides, don't want to open these doors. <laughs> if you pull off this job, it's going to be pizza who's in your debt. Well, that that look, spices things up a bit. Look, boss, I think what's going on is he's got a job for us and we're on the way there. Yeah. Does, the, does this have a mini bar? That's a um, good question. I'm looking around my finger. Vinny presses a button up front, and one of the couches folds up and out slides a mini bar, complete with oven um, that dings, and the door pops open, and you can see a uh, pepperoni pizza slide out. You know, Ralphie, I got a good feeling about this. Who else can go for a hot honey? <laughs> and I start mixing things. Me too, boss. <laughs> Slice. <laughs> Pizza and alcohol. Well. <laughs> As part man, part dog, I wolf down that pizza like nobody's business. To the, yeah, to, like, to the point where I've got scorch marks on my lips. I'll have a slice Your myself. Horrible pun of the <laughs> session. <laughs> well done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. I just have my little ro I just have my little robot um pop out with a sponge on the end and try to um wipe off all of the um the cheese juice that's all over me since it it was everywhere all over the seats probably come off on me and I'm trying to clean off all of the you know mm. the cheese Crap, juice I help. and the oil and the grease I, I get some like vodka on my hanky and I'm just rubbing him down there we go we'll be in better shape in no time <laughs> 
there's something wrong about rub, being rubbed down with alcohol in a in a role playing game, <laughs> even if you are a robot. <laughs> so uh, you're a, you're a fish man, right? You're a, you're a fish guy. Yes. Okay. Is your heat vision accurate enough to like see ticks in my fur? We got to make a conversation. Off. Just making conversation. Is, oh, is oh, your that's, collar that's not working? Character. I thought we got a collar. Yeah. Okay. Um, I go, yes, as long as you're within 10 feet. Beyond that, I just see a big red blur. I would assume that you're completely infested at that point and then just give up on you. You give up on me? Well, obviously, you're about to be consumed wholly. I never give up on you. You're my best friend. Wait a minute. I thought I was your best friend. You're also my best friend. Okay, good. What is that collar I gave you? How come you're not wearing it? That would have kept at least one of those ticks. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. It's on my ankle. I hand her Elfie some rum. Scrotum is just going to um, just just keep cleaning and waiting for us to arrive somewhere so there's nothing much else to do. <laughs> We're here. Welcome, right. one and all, to Planet Girth. Excellent. And you look out the front windshield and you can see this planet that looks kind of like Earth. Um, and is shaped. And he, <laughs> as he continues closer, this is one of the few planets in the galaxy with air. So, so <coughs> is, is Girth a ball or is it shaped like a pear? I, I I said it was a shape. It was a shape. You didn't say what shape it mm -hmm. was. So I'm trying to determine. Nope. Because I have an affinity with everything round. <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> I have an affinity with everything round. So I, I identify with anything that's round. But but I'm just wondering if is it is it round? Is that the shape that it's round? Or is oh, hang on, is it shaped like one of those crackers, the sh um, the shapes that you buy in the packets in New Zealand? Is that what you're talking about? <laughs> is it, that, is, it is. It is. It is shaped. It is shaped like a planet. It is a oh, sphere. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. It's a planet shaped planet. It's a it's shaped planet. <laughs> it's a planet shaped object. Uh, okay. <laughs> Reading too much into this. Reading way my, too much. <laughs> my imagination was melting on that one. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, whoa, it's not a sphere. What is yeah. this? Well, I'll just brace myself uh, for re entry. <laughs> and as the um the re-entry begins um you see the the classic you know fire like basically rockets on either side of the the uh limousine as um you, you're all completely blinded from the outside very very bright um <clears throat> but no no heat change on the inside which is very nice um and as you break out of the atmosphere and into the higher upper atmosphere and into the lower atmosphere, you can see that planet Girth is not known for its peninsulas for no reason. Every single spot of land on planet Girth has a peninsula. Hmm. Oosh, the, the joke just went straight over the top of my head. <laughs> I'm trying really hard to process um, but, um, peninsula, there's lots of peninsulas. Do you say peninsula? Is that a pun thing? There's, there's, it's... there's something, something on that. <laughs> uh, are we going to that peninsula? And I just point at one of the peninsulas that looks the biggest. That's right. Uh, we are off to Peninsula Peninsula on planet Girth. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Have we all Bless gone that? Perhaps I'm dreaming. Let's um, I put my hands on the window, whatever flat surface is nearby, because I don't trust anyone here, and I might get sucked out at any moment, and I have really <laughs> sticky pads, so I can stick to it. <laughs> and you leave a uh, wet, wet handprint on the window as your hand just sticks there. Ralphie's, like, looking down with his ears, like pointed at the there's a sound coming from the side of the minibar with this 
as the receipt is being printed off. <laughs> and I'm seeing numbers, <laughs> astronomical numbers charting up here. I'm like, uh, boss? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, what, what are all Paper, those numbers? Paper's starting to like roll over my lap here. Yeah. Um. um yeah, just, yeah, use that. Uh, you got a little bit of uh, cheese there. Just use that receipt, wipe it off there. There you go. That's that's what it's for. Start shoving it into the, uh, the, the, the numbers, receptacle. The numbers are the length of the receipt. It just gives you the dimensions. It's it. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Save some for later. Toilet paper. <laughs> Stuff it into the inside of my vac suit. <laughs> It may be important to save some of those. It may be important to save that for later for your records. Could be, um, yeah. 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 We, yeah. we may need to write that off. If anything, I can start a fire with it later. Yeah. <laughs> All right. The limousine at long last comes into touchdown. And as it uh, hits the ground and skids to a halt, spins like three times across this landing strip. Vinny, completely unfazed. We're here. Only just. <laughs> Only just. <laughs> Great. All right. Um, I'm going to try to open the door <laughs> if we're here. <laughs> the door opens. Uh, wait, hold on. Question. You're a ball. What do you open the door with? I have. I have a a little uh, probe that sticks out that looks like. <laughs> this <laughs> and it can wiggle around and do all sorts of things however oh my goodness, I want how to position it it can go this oh. way and that way and it, it can change the tool it doesn't have to be this it could be this could be this probe be even the word is offensive it could be all sorts of little yellow yeah <laughs> yeah comes that yellow that yellow flag just think of bb 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 BB8. For those of BB8. you who are not scarred by BB. It's Buck Rogers. That wasn't the um, BB I was thinking about. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you all open the doors and uh, step out of the limousine, as does Vinny. Um, and he immediately you smell fresh air, something that you haven't smelled, none of you have smelled in years. Um and uh, <laughs> um, Ralphie, you pick up on how many allergens there are floating around in this uh, atmosphere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can detect them with my senses, but I'm unaffected. Hmm. All I smell is ass and flowers. Yeah. Oh, good. I thought that was you. <coughs> Wow. <laughs> Hang on, lots of data coming in, guys. Got to collate. So where we go for pizza? <laughs> pizza journey's done, boys. It is time for you to put your muscles to work. And Vinny points at a uh, hangar that is very nearby. In there, you'll find... Your enemies. Father Pardon John me. is having a meeting with his higher ups inside that building. Shh. Kill them all. Excuse me? I've never killed so much as a cockroach. Shh. Well, you'll learn today. <laughs> I don't like the sound of this. And I go to like hide behind the mug. I think I made, no. made a fatal mistake when I was building my character because I've just realized that I have nothing that does any kind of attack. I will uh, circle, I will circle <laughs> I will around I will have to the, roll over them. <laughs> That's the best I can do. I will circle around the fish guy looking for your butt to smell also. <laughs> <laughs> These two just do this for like a good two minutes. What are you doing? I didn't ask you to go there. What are you doing? Do you, do you have a butt? That is my own business. Thank you. <laughs> I just do really tight circles, really fast, trying to build up speed, ready to um, to roll off on, on onto somebody. Uh, just waiting for the others to, to come. Revving, right? Revving up. 
Okay. Cam is just all right. Hey boss. Yeah, normal. <laughs> hey boss. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do you yeah. think we should just blow up the building? Yes. That sounds much easier. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Last, but we can't get as close as we did last time. That uh, <laughs> two weeks. That two weeks in the in the cast that didn't feel too good. <sighs> How about we like steal a uh, a vehicle and rig it to like drive into the building and blow up? That's not bad. We just arrived in a vehicle. Maybe we should check that one out. I could help with that. I'm an excellent pilot. Drive his own limit? No, no, no. Because that where will 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 Velcro Velcro or whatever his name is? Where will he go? Can't we just do use, use different vehicle? Just use different vehicle. Right, that's the vehicle we came in. So we want to use a different want... vehicle. A bigger we want a vehicle different vehicle that belongs to somebody else. Different vehicle. Is, yeah. Hey, boss. We yeah. got an updated plan. Okay. What do we got? We're going to use not our vehicle and <laughs> make it blow up when we drive it into a building. But right. maybe we can get somebody else to drive it into the building. It's not a bad idea. But you can't chase it like you did last time. Uh, no. Uh, uh, last time uh, you chased uh, it into the building, it, it, it didn't turn out very well for you. Program, to be fair, that program. Freud was on a Are cord. you signaling more like this? Program. 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 I can program. I can program. What is it, Scroden boy? Program. I can program it. What are you trying to say? <laughs> I can program it. I can hack it. I can, I me good at mechanics. Me me can me can break into car. And uh, me good at IT stuff. Me me program computer. Drive into 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 building. Find a vehicle. Find a vehicle. I go looking All right. for a vehicle. You've got <clears throat> in the immediate this like vicinity. The this is this is a spaceport. So you've got three options. You've got a Winnebago with wings. You've got what looks like a Learjet. And you have uh something that is surprisingly similar to a miniaturized version of the Borg cube. This is still the biggest thing on the on the <laughs> space strip. Which is the biggest of those three? The, cube. the board cube, the Definitely cube, the biggest, the, cube. Oh. the biggest of the three is the miniature cube. All right, so I, I will just rev up, zip over there, and um, I'm heading toward that thing and see if I can't break into it and reprogram it so that it drives into the the building. I'm going All right, to you uh, stealthily, like I'm hiding behind everything on the yeah. way there. All right, go ahead and roll a check uh, to try to be stealthy. Oh god. Nine. And since Sagas is a roll low system, not great. <laughs> <laughs> um, so as you are following the ball that is rolling its way towards the cube, a lot of shapes this game. Um <laughs> you um <clears throat> you actually uh try to overtake him and get there first so you can hide because there's a, this space has no cover and you trip and kick your friend which friend the ball on the ground oh, oh, oh. Scrotum. Scrotum. i kick the scrotum does it does scrotum go faster <laughs> scrotum does go faster also uh, with much less control and as you slam into the side of the cube, just wham! You are actually embedded into the metal. <laughs> but you look around and you can see, oh, cool. There's a port I can use right here. And still embedded in the wall, <laughs> just plug in. <laughs> oh my goodness, I think I, I think I broke my toe and I'm hopping on one foot. Okay, circle. so I stick it in there and uh, and and now I want to try to um, um, hack into it and, uh, and, and take it take control of it so I can uh, force it to drive into the building. All right. Go ahead and make a check to hack into a Borg-ish cube. Cool. I have hacker. So, D8. What did I roll on D8? I can't see the dots. It's rolled behind there. It's a three! Ha ha! Ha! Three is pretty good. Okay. Um, that is going to be a success as um, <laughs> you uh, your robot mind enters into the mind of this cube, which is significantly more powerful than yours. Um, but it doesn't seem to have noticed your presence, thankfully. Um, and as you go in and reprogram just the pieces you need, um, 
the cube slowly begins to float, levitates like half an inch off the ground. Um, and a single rocket on the back ignites and just sends it spinning closer and closer to the uh, building. Um, and you can see uh, figures emerging from ports on all different sides because this cube is almost as large as the hangar you're supposed to destroy in the first place. <laughs> um, and uh, to mash up a uh, yet another... Because uh, we've hit Star Wars, we've hit Star Trek, it's time to do another classic sci-fi. You see a, um, a head of a machine with a long, singular eye stalk coming out the metal. Um, and you can hear, Mer! Exterminate! <laughs> Exterminate! <laughs> am, am I still embedded in the, the cube? Right now, yes. <laughs> I'm, now that it seems to be, am I, do, do, does it look like I have actually succeeded in reprogramming it, and it is time to bail? <laughs> uh, yeah, the now I, now is time to bail, but that's going to require a check to get yourself unstuck. Okay, so mm. so what sort of unstuck is there? An unstuck check, or would that be mechanics, hacking, or IT, or hopefully? Whatever. If you can justify anything on your character sheet applying, I will likely allow it. So I would sucks. like to assist the droid getting out of the wall because I'm busting for a pee having traveled in that ship and eating pizza and drinking copious amounts of rum. <laughs> Tide's got a tides in both. I've got a I've got to break the seal. So um it turns out that my my um pee is a natural lubricant anyway, so So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm not gonna take any chances. I'm gonna use I'm gonna use two little um tools come that stick out of me to try to little hammers and chisels and so forth to try to um, you know, get get myself free. Um, yeah, any anything that can sort of um, knock me knock me loose desperately as I you know working around the edge if I have to. Heck, if I need even maybe maybe I'm just going to go with just a um a torch, a flaming torch. You know, like a um not a Bunsen burner. <laughs> a don't use that torch around my pee. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> it may be too late. It's too late. I've already did it. I said it. It's <laughs> happening. Okay, so I'm using my torch. Um and uh settling torchy thingy and, and try to burn uh burn burn myself free okay so this is this ship is actively spinning and getting closer and closer to the um the hangar that you're supposed to destroy while you're embedded in the side of it while this is happening ralphie the mog is chasing after you as it's spinning running circles around the ship making sure to catch up with you just peeing in your general vicinity to attempt to help you get out. So, mm -hmm. if, uh, unless I'm much mistaken, this That's... is mechanically, <laughs> this is the help. Uh, you're, you are helping with um, with Scrotum's check, which means you spend two effort and Scrotum gets one additional die. He rolls two, takes the lower one, sort of like advantage in D&D. &D. All right. Um, so, so go ahead and roll two dice for this check. Right. So normally I would roll just one eight-sided dice, and now I'm going to have two eight-sided dice, as assisted from the P. And doing rolled, my part. I, I rolled an eight, and I rolled a one. <gasps> wow! Amazing. <laughs> um. So a eight would have been the worst you Disastrous. could possibly do, and a one is perfect. Everything goes wonderfully. Um, and Ralphie shouted out this warning to, <laughs> uh, shouted out this warning to not use the torch just a half second too late. And so as you, a little bit of pee gets onto it and, um, it, the, the pee has already soaked in like behind you to get in, like wedge itself in there. And the, the urine ignites from your torch and it just sends you, <laughs> Like a bombard from ancient from ancient Napoleonic War, <laughs> 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 and Scrotum just gets sent flying right as the cube collides, smashing into the front of the building, bringing this whole front of it, door and all, down as it crumbles into this huge pile of rubble, and. Um, <laughs> uh, as the smoke begins to clear, Scrotum comes slowly rolling back, smoking a little bit from behind. 
Um, and I'm gonna, you know what? Just because of how this happened, I'm gonna say, AJ, um, Ralphie is going to need to make an avoid check. This is essentially the same as an attack roll against you. Do I have to, or can I actually ride that mechanical sphere um, out of there like a cannonball, like a like a squirrel, like plastered to a bowling ball, just like? Um, I'm actually imagining this as you, as it explodes. Um, oh, like a proper you just cannon. Get okay. the wind knocked out of you from the gut, from your gut, and you, <laughs> <laughs> and you just get thrown butt first as far as as far as the ball carries you. Nice. Um, I am happen. going to still have an avoid check, though, oh, okay. uh, j because you're you're getting shot in the gut with a cannonball. We got to see if oh. this does damage or not. So, did so it, can I use uh, can I use two my effort to uh, uh, try to uh, like catch him as he's going by to try to slow him down? Oh, absolutely. So you're going right. to help with this avoid check um, yes. as Ham tries to catch his best friend. Um, yeah. You, AJ, will get two dice to roll on this avoid check. Um, and if nothing on your character sheet applies, which at level one, I don't think it should, um, you'll be using D10s. Yeah, I do. Um, like, Ralphie is unusually large. He does have the big category, which is cannot be forcibly moved by anything smaller than you. But that's up to you <laughs> if it's, that includes cannonballs. Well, no, those those are mechanics. So you, the ball just slams into you, and you don't move an inch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I got you. So, so I got you, um, still to see fair. um to see where exactly the ball did come into contact with your body. Um, I'll still have you roll that avoid check. Right. Um, Is with it help DA? from Ham as he tries to direct it away from your nether regions. Okay. What am I rolling a D eight? Uh, this will be a D10, but you two of them. Get two D10s. Nice. Okay. I uh, rolled a two and a nine. Uh, with a two, that is a success. Um, as the <laughs> as scrotum collides with your gut instead of you know <gasps> half a foot lower. All right. This, did you I got you, buddy. I got you. Did you say that? And I got you. <laughs> Did you say, say that scrotum is smoking? Yes, scrotum is uh, smoldering slightly. So, do, do, do I do we mark that? Do I mark that down in the description under wounds or not? No. Okay. All I'm right. gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna be nice and say you do not suffer a lasting wound from this nice. technically successful role that you did. <laughs> you okay. do, however, right. smell like burnt dog fur. Yeah. Yeah. I'm clearly not and trying hard enough to kill my character. Stuff. Damn it, yeah. Dean. Um, um, Dennis, I tried so hard to kill my character in, in the shortest space oh, of time. Oh, don't I worry. Could. Yeah, anyway. you will have you will have the opportunity. Okay. Um, right Can about I now. now. Out through, uh, you can see in the rubble as the dust slowly begins to clear. Um, crushed underneath the debris are space balls. Humans in big, white, round helmets. And this is wholly unexpected because space balls are notoriously, you know, lawful evil, very organized and against crime. They run the galaxy, essentially. But here they are working in a place where a mob boss was supposedly having a meeting. Very suspicious. Hmm. Ralphie, that's very suspicious, don't you think? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> that's the best response. <laughs> exactly, boy. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Hey, nice job on that pee thing, too. It still doesn't burn when you do that, does it? That that got fixed, right? I think the him hitting me in that in the special place actually helped. Okay. Nice. Ah, by the way, we've got some space balls. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> what? What? what is it? So, okay. So. I feel like this is most of the conversations between <laughs> Ham and Ralphie is just Ralphie going, huh? 
<laughs> what? <laughs> right. Are they, are they yeah. supposed to be here? Uh, no. Um, They're not supposed to be you. here. No. I think you should probably greet them. They're not my friends. No. That's what I mean. Oh, bite their butts. Yeah. Perhaps no, wait. Hang on. I have this. I pull out a laser pistol. <laughs> oh, that'll work too. Can I say <laughs> hello with, with lasers? Be my guess. All right. Is it laser time? <laughs> if you would it's like it to be time. laser time. <laughs> I need <laughs> to confirm with my, my, my employer officially twice. It's in my contract. Before opening fire. <laughs> <laughs> Roll for lasers. <laughs> And at last, you you we see the um, <laughs> the oh, a, a classic uh, flash of text across the screen, just flashing in crazy lightning font. It's laser time. <laughs> um, and go ahead and. <laughs> Go ahead and um, uh, make an attack roll against one of the space balls that are stuck under the the debris. Excellent. I have weapon training pistol. Uh, that's a D8. That is a three. And that, let me check his uh, stat block. Oh, wait, he died in the explosion. The, there's just a bunch of dead bodies. And as you shoot one with the laser, it kind of seizes hey boss i think this one's already dead yeah um great shot great shot i was supposed to shoot first but you did fine can i jump in for a second <laughs> um well is it possible that while this chaos is happening there's a vehicle that has been left abandoned or somebody isn't paying quite enough attention so i can steal it yeah you've got the winnebago and the learjet winnebago Absolutely. Um, so the door, unfortunately, to the Winnebago is locked. So as this is probably as the board cube mm -hmm. is spinning and Ralphie is peeing, um, go ahead and make a check to uh, break into the Winnebago. I can pick locks. Ooh. What That's the, the picking that? lock melody. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just have the equipment lock repair tools these tools allow you to repair alter or pick locks so i just roll a d10 normally yes uh okay. these these aren't special this just allows you to attempt it in the first place I... um fortunately this winnebago is not well cared for as you uh try to you, you take out your um, meticulously cared for tools and you attempt to turn this rusty old lock. Um, you think you have the pins all, all in the correct place and you turn it and the lock just slides out of the door entirely. Just the whole lock <laughs> just gets removed. <laughs> well, that could be a problem later, but good. Good for me. <laughs> the door swings open slightly. <laughs> I'll have to repair that so we can leave. <laughs> uh, as soon as I'm on board, I'm looking to see if it has any onboard cannons, lasers, guns, anything like that. I mean, to shoot from the vehicle. Um, roll it, make another check and see what you can find. Three. What's that? Oh, wait. I, I said three, but hold on. I'm not used to this character yet. I have investigate. Does that mean I could roll that? Oh, uh, roll that would absolutely eight? apply here. Okay. <laughs> three. <laughs> the same thing <laughs> three is good though all right um <clears throat> you manage to find um you manage to find a laser pistol um a, a not a very good one it is uh not of a make that you recognize um, so it's not like mounted it it's is... not part of the vehicle it's just a separate gun no, it's not. It's just, it's just like stuck between two of the cushions in the back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, what the hell? I have a vehicle and a gun. <laughs> I start the engine yep. if I can. I'm ready to fly us out of here. All right. Um, <laughs> true to form for whoever owns this thing, the keys are in the ignition. <laughs> <laughs> that fits. All right. 
and <laughs> as you uh, you turn it, I'm going to start uh, rolling towards the lead jet. <laughs> We're not getting anywhere anywhere in the Winnebago. It's not going nowhere. <laughs> Um, all right. So <clears throat> as, as you, uh, so as you're rolling towards the Learjet, um, <laughs> our aquatic friend is, uh, trying to get the Winnebago started. Um, and, uh, Ham, where are you at this point? Um, I'm over with, uh, Ralphie, uh, pointing out the ones that, um, uh, he should, uh, shoot. And I end up pointing to the ones that are already dead. I don't realize it. Check that one. Probably, yeah, make sure. Pew. <laughs> <laughs> um, guys, I've I've got to go. Um, I've got a problem with it's like a family medical emergency. My sister's coming to pick me up. <laughs> does, that, does that mean we're back in? Because you yes. yes. and, and what? <laughs> and that was it. I was like, okay, all right. Are we good? Are we here now? We're good. We're good. We're good. We're back. <laughs> okay. Nice. All right. <clears throat> so, um, uh, nice picture. Good choice. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> As uh, AJ suggested in chat, the chat will be running Ralphie. Um, okay. <laughs> if you want Ralphie to do a thing at any point, um, let me know in chat. And as long as we're not like in the middle of a scene with someone else, I'll try to work it in. <laughs> All right. Yeah. There we go. Let's go, chat. It's not, it's so, not, um, AJ's not trying to make it harder for you at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, it's can I fine. It's tip? fine. I've done harder, <laughs> I, I think. Don't. We'll see. All right. <laughs> um, so as the Winnebago continues to, <laughs> just in case it's alive, I have telepathy. I'm trying to speak to its mind. Come on, baby. Come on. You can do it. Come on. You've never heard such deafening silence. <laughs> How's my jet locking? <laughs> um, as you roll up to it, um, Ham, where where are you going at this point? Are you going over to the Winnebago, the jet, somewhere else? Um. Well, uh, I, Ham keeps saying, Ralphie, 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 Ralphie. <laughs> it's not answering. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Uh, wh what's around me? So last I know, I'm like standing around the board cube that smashed a bunch of space balls. Mm-hmm. Um, you can see that the D-Lex uh, is the name of the alien that came out of the board cube. Um, okay. The D-Lex that screamed exterminate before crashing all seem to have perished in the crash. Um, and most of this hangar has been completely collapsed. There might be some space deep back in there where something could still be alive and safe, but uh, you'd have to investigate further to find out. Um, okay. Then Scrotum is on its way to the Learjet, and the Winnebago with uh, your amphibian friend uh, Abe Sapien uh, mm -hmm. is still... Okay. I'm looking for any spare fuel. <laughs> Um, or uh, <laughs> what I would like to do then is um, I would like to get a green flag uh, and I want to put one in each hand and I want to like, go and see which one of these two make it to me first. The Winnebago or the jet. How are we supposed to figure that out? <laughs> how, 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 how's, how, how's our, our character supposed to understand that? At all. We get we get this this epic shot uh, panning wall. up on Ham's soul lol yes. um, yeah. with the two green flags, and once you uh, <laughs> once you drop the flags, go! Um, immediately we get a shot of the other two far in the distance. One still rolling away, not having noticed, and the other <laughs> one still in the Winnebago. <laughs> well, let me down. All right. I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna sit there and wait for these guys and just kind of uh just shake my head and kind right. of kick a few rocks around. All right, I'm I'm gonna roll fast. All right, my Scrotum, you get to the Learjet. Um it is bright, shiny, 
looks very new and very expensive. Cool. Uh, is, does it have stairs leading to the door to get in there? Um, no. Unfortunately, the stairs are not currently down. Okay, so I have to try to get up there. Um, am I able to bounce like a beach ball oh. um, up to the, the door? <laughs> where you get into the thing. I don't know how I'm supposed to do that exactly, but um, uh, I'm gonna- If I recall correctly, you get a D8 on movement checks, yes? Th that's right, I do. Um, yes. So, um, can so I try to please make me a movement check to get up to the door of the Learjet to grab onto the handle. Okay. And keep in mind, it's like 20 feet in the air. Okay. Eh, maybe not 20, closer to 10. 10, 10 feet in the air. Okay. So, um, so as soon as I get near the handle, of course, I will be sticking my little probe out that allows me to actually uh, maneuver things to hook on so that I can open the door. So I'm rolling, I'm rolling and uh, bouncing, bouncing. I got a seven. That's not going to work. I don't think it's going to work. <laughs> <laughs> not working. Um, <laughs> you roll faster, 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 faster. And, um, you, at when you get close to the Learjet, you uh, stick out one of your limbs and it just lifts you up and it, you launch yourself up into the air and you bounce once, bounce twice, get even higher, and you're still spinning and there's this hook that's spinning with you. And as you get close to the uh, Learjet, it latches into the side of the thing, into the hull, and just rips a tear all the way down, you get to the bottom, it comes loose, and you fall to the ground. So you're that telling is me a failure really badly. Did I just key somebody else's vehicle? <laughs> yes, you did. Do I see this massive failure happening? Uh, yes, you do. And as a reminder, because this is the first failed check of our game, every time you fail a check, you gain one effort as long as you are don't yeah. aren't already at your maximum. Oh, right, no, I so, failed myself. All right, so well, I've already got ah, two right. effort. Two effort. Anyway, you okay. them. so you're already spend full him. up. Yeah, How do I spend them. I How do I spend my effort? Uh, hmm. There are two ways at level one. Uh, you can help, which is has already been done twice. You spend two effort, and an ally gets an additional die on whatever check they're making. You can do this any time they're making a roll. It doesn't like require an action. It doesn't have to be your turn in combat or anything. You can do this any time. Okay. Uh, the other way is very similar. Uh, it's combo. Uh, this one's more specific to combat, but when an ally makes an attack roll, you can declare before they roll that attack that you are comboing with them. You spend two effort, and instead of giving them one additional die, you give them one additional damage. And attacks and sagas usually do only one damage in the first place, so you're essentially doubling their damage output. So in other words, it's basically helping. It's a, it's a help mechanic. It, it's helping, but damage instead. And right. it has to be declared beforehand. Help, you can say after the fact. Like if someone fails, you're like, ah, I, I meant to help. Okay, all right. Cool. I pasted all the spending effort options in the schedule A mm -hmm. Discord. Oh. Ah, wonderful. Very nice. Thank you. I don't think this 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 is going to work. Getting up to the, some lead jet is going to be way too difficult. Uh, well, the reason I want to ask I, if I notice because I can stick to walls, so I could just leave the Winnebago and go up there and climb the the jet. All right. Yeah, you notice. <laughs> you the you you don't notice the run up, but you hear the uh, the keying happening. Oh. Yeah. Oh, and did I find any extra fuel or anything that might help start the thing? Um, go ahead and make a check and see if I you can roll, find right. any extra fuel. And does this fall under investigate? Uh, yes. It's, I would think your investigate skill would apply. Um, two. Uh, you do manage to find where fuel would be kept if there were any. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well done. I thought I of something that I, I, I thought of something that Ham wants to be doing while these guys are doing that. 
Um, yes, go ahead. Uh, very uh, stormtrooper esque. I want to be removing a few of these space ball helmets and stuff and, and suiting up. Uh, all right. So you um, you managed to uh, pull off a couple space ball helmets. Um, you put one on yourself. Uh, it gives you absolutely terrible field of vision, um, but it does offer some protection. So um, I will say because I didn't, you know, make a specific piece of equipment for space ball helmets, but I will say um, while you're wearing this. Uh, checks you make to see things must use a d12, but okay. avoid checks against uh, powered attacks may use a d8. Powered attacks are going to be like your laser pistol shots, your magic, your anything that's, you know, sci-fi or fantasy or what have you. Yeah, makes sense. I'll, I'll, I'll instruct uh, uh, Ralphie to put one on as well. We'll gather one for Abe. Um, and of course, scrotum is just going to be scrotum. <laughs> we'll paint him white. Um, as um, <laughs> uh, Ralphie is uh, currently scrounging in the uh, cube in the D-Lex ship, um, oh, yeah, pulling right. out some weapons. And uh, I will roll real quick for that. Uh, and with a 10, finds absolutely nothing. Mm. He'd probably be on the oh, already use, already use my effort. Damn. <laughs> Quick, fail some checks. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> I'm I'm gonna. So roll, uh, I would like to roll over ahead. towards um Ham, uh Ham, and Ham Solo, and uh and, and get his attention because I'm having trouble getting into the lead jet. It's, it's not it's not it's not as easy as I thought it would be. All right. Uh, as you side. roll over to Ham, uh, Abe starts making his way to the Learjet. All right. I'll just turn around and follow. 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, let's uh, see what uh, we can do. Uh, uh. All right. Ralphie, let's go check this out. Then we'll follow over to the Learjet with my space. Oh, yelling, it's okay, everyone. I've got this. I'll help. What? Huh? Ralphie, we're going to go look at the Laird jet. Okay. Have fun. <laughs> oh, wait. You wanted me to... Okay. And he uh, starts following you. All right. That seems like it would fit. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> all right. So you get up to the Laird jet, and I believe, Jacob, Abe has the climber trait. Is that Jacob, what your oh, dude, web... Jacob's weird. J it says Jacob on your <laughs> name <know>. on Zoom. <laughs> so. That's my fault. I know, but it's your fault. <laughs> All right, Jake. Uh, you got. Uh, you have climber, right? Yeah. Is that what the? Okay, so you you don't even have to make a check check yeah. to get up to the uh, the door. You open up the mm -hmm. handle, and um, this is fortunately unlocked. And the Good, uh, door just <laughs> opens like a classic airplane, and the staircase nice. uh, slides down. It's okay, everyone. <laughs> We're fine now. And I almost fall off. I meant well to say done. I take the whole lock of the Winnebago too, so nobody can leave with it. Oh, uh, add to your inventory rusty <laughs> Winnebago lock. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> How, how, all right. Uh, how is it gonna, so, how, is, it, is it how easy is it for a round rolling robot to get up a bunch of stairs onto a Lear jet? Because I'm just thinking about that now. It's like, well, you managed to launch yourself up to the Lear jet's height, right? So I'm at the very least going to require a check to get up these stairs, oh, and I'll God. leave the details up to you, depending on the result. Right. Okay. <laughs> so I'm 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 going to give this a go since it's movements. It's D8, right? So mm -hmm. You want me to do a check? Well, you're you're ball shaped, right? I am ball shaped. I got a five. Ra Ralphie Ooh. chases. Ralphie, yeah. get the ball. <laughs> get the ball. Get the ball, boy. <laughs> uh, you get a five, but with vigor, running from the mog. 
Um, <laughs> I'm going to count that as a success. <laughs> All right. Well, it's fortunate because I thought if I failed that the um, the the mob might have to actually carry me up the stairs because I wouldn't be able to get up there. It's uh, how much do you weigh though? Five hundred pounds? I don't know. I have no idea. I'm just assuming that I'm made out of high tech uh, materials and uh, as as light as um, aluminium foil. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and, and as everyone knows, the uh, these high tech materials are the heaviest light stuff on the universe. Yes. Mm. Um, do the stairs go all the way to the ground, or do I need to look for something in here to help them up, like a transporter or something? No, the stairs the stairs do go all the way to the ground. They extend it a little bit. Okay. Sweet. Um, and you, so all of you get inside this uh, Learjet, and <clears throat> you can see like um. You see the you know the the cockpit where you know the pilot would sit uh, currently empty no one's in there um, and you can see that. all the way down the um, there's some seats all with very nicely laid out tables um, very roomy on the inside um, <clears throat> and you can see all the way to the back of the plane pretty much and all the way back at the towards the back of the plane you see a figure that you've only heard stories about. A single toilet cowering toilet? in the corner with eyes close to the, uh, on the back, the very top of it, eyes peeking out of the uh, lid um, and a mouth where the seat would be. <gasps> <gasps> no, don't come any closer. And you oh, that poor creature. expected father john to be much more intimidating oh, this is oh pizza the hut's God. rival father john <laughs> it's a job wow. it's a <laughs> toilet it's a toilet wow. and that is father john well done uh, i'm oh here for the toilet <laughs> humor gosh. i am I'm so here for the toilet humor i'm so glad that i don't poo <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know who does? Ralphie. <laughs> and he probably needs to go bad. <laughs> I picture Ralphie like standing on the lid so he can't talk. Uh right now you're you're on one end of the jet. The uh Father John is on the opposite end of the jet and he is um you know with the little flushing handle, he has a laser pistol of his own. Don't come any closer. Okay, he has a laser pistol? Where? Where is he holding it? <laughs> with with the little handle that is that you <laughs> use to flush. <laughs> okay, it's all right. We're just going to sit down for a moment, and I sit down in the pilot seat or the it's other a, pilot, the, uh, the co-pilot seat, and I start just turning things shooter. on. I'm getting ready to go. So it's, you just left it to me to sort out. Fine. Okay, so it's, since you it's, guys are in a co-pilot seat and the pilot seat, I just say, go, and I was up and i'm just gonna try to run <laughs> into the toilet if, if this, he's okay so you he's start ceramic there's a good chance i, have, I can crack him in half. i have a question i have a question does <laughs> father john have a pistol is it a, is it instead of a pistol is it a pistol it, it is it is a pistol it is uh the <laughs> sickening yellow shade I'm dying inside. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yep yep have at uh, it bro. i'm gonna say Ralphie, uh, finally ready to relieve himself, charges forward with Scrotum. Um, and it is at this point that um, his entire demeanor changes. And you know why he's named Father John and how he got all of, all of the uh, notoriety that he has. You fools! You've fallen right into my trap! <laughs> now I unleash the prototype mini space balls! And jumping out what? from all of the seats on either side of you as you're charging down the aisle of the plane are um, tiny little robots, all with like, they look like chess pieces almost, uh, with the same white like helmet sort of thing, but no face. This is just a ball on where their head would be. Um, and each one of them is crackling with like green electrical energy. And at this point, 
I am going to ask that we begin combat. And in sagas, combat begins with a reaction roll to see how quickly you're able to react to a fight breaking out. All righty. That's a D10. Uh, unless you have something that says otherwise, yes. D10. I have to say, Dennis, if you gave us any more abilities or powers or more selections, I would have a hard time keeping up with what we're doing because I'm just not familiar with the character sheet of the system. So I'm glad there's only like three things that I can do. <laughs> it's designed to be very easy to play, especially at level one. And I would like to remind people that I managed to um, destroy an entire hangar of people uh, by just uh, reprogramming a vehicle and having it run into them. Didn't need to the fire a shot. Uh, I can one. confirm. That... Oh, a perfect one. I got a Your, one. Your, well. um, whoa, quick shot ham soul all over here. Ham shot <laughs> first, indeed. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of them say that it shot third, but, you know. Well, they're wrong, and we know they it. Are. Yes. I was wondering right, what so eyes got... out of the toilet meant. Yes, he should drink out of the toilet. I agree. He's a dog. We got <laughs> Scrotum and Ham up first. Um, and when two players tie each round, they could decide between them who goes first. You don't mind if I shoot um, first, do you? No, no. You can <laughs> you I already your, made that joke. You can shoot your I'm first. prolonging it. Yeah. Yeah. I got a good feeling about this. Yeah. Um and wow, these uh toy soldiers are actually quite um quite simple uh, quite slow on the uptake. So you three all get to go first before any of the enemies do. Wow. All right. Um, oh, wait, Scrotum no, I need to roll I... for um, for Ralphie. Ralphie goes last. <laughs> <laughs> At least we know what he's going to be doing because Norak has indicated he'll be peeing yes. on the toilet. Um, oh, yeah. Drinking from the toilet. <laughs> cool thing about sagas, there's a check for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my God. Um, could Scrotum fit inside the cockpit? Uh, I don't know yes. why we're going there. Um, how, how, did, how did this, how does, how, how does, how does this, how does this pertain? I believe you were, Ham, you were about to shoot somebody. Yes. Uh, so, so the way I'm imagining this is uh, I'm currently in the front of the plane and I need to get to the back of the plane. Um, is that correct? Uh, correct. Okay. All right. I'm going to, uh, uh, leap over with my wobbly uh, fishbowl helmets on and uh, shoot the first thing that's that's that I can. I have a uh, small pistol, so um, I have to be all close right. range. So you I move said, Why don't uh, we all just go one inside zone. The and shut the door. Um, you, from where you are, actually, you are able to fire a shot at this horde of tiny space balls. Um, and you get a four, get a and four. that is that is a success. Nice. Um, one of the one of the uh, actually, I'll let you describe. What does your attack look like as you shoot into this uh, swarm of enemies? Um, they uh, the effect happens before you see the flash off of the pistol. So it's like this. It's just the effect. And then you see a flash from the, uh, a, a, like a little <laughs> green flash from the blaster. So no noise, and no sound effect, and then noise and sound. And then the uh, you see one of the uh, enemies in front of you just turns to dust mm. and, ca and gets blown away in the wind. Yeah, they're all going to fall like dominoes now. Excellent shot. Only 1,200 more to go. Right. <laughs> I, I will try to roll over um, <laughs> them as I build up. Um, actually, I, I, is, is it part possible to get past them uh, and just go straight for the toilet? Um, so, Johnson? so because I want to crack mechanically, them open. how this is working, I am using the toy soldier 
uh, enemy, which is in the actual rule book. Um, I've just beefed it up a little bit um, because uh, it's by applying the horde statistic to it. Um, mm -hmm. And cool thing about hordes is moving through a large, dense crowd of anything is difficult. So you can go up to them. You can move into their space for free. Getting back out of it, that's going to be a problem. That's going to require a check. I'm not really worried about that. Okay, so if that's what I was intending to do. So if they get in the way, I'm just going to try to roll over them. That's really all I'm, I'm yeah. Because my intention was to roll through them, squishing them as I go to get to the um, the Johnson and crack his um, his ceramic cum bowl. All right, go ahead. And I'm going to say make an attack roll, but this is not something you were designed for. And we're going to go rules as written for mechanics. When you are attacking without a weapon, you must use a D12. Okay, D12. Because for those of you who don't know, this character has no weapons. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a seven. That's not good. <laughs> uh, a seven is... is not enough. This tiny little space ball, shorter than you, um, uh, you it gets blown out of the way, um, but takes no damage whatsoever. But the three standing behind it literally just catch you and stop you in your tracks. Mm. Um, and you are now stuck inside that horde. Um, you are inside a zone that is above capacity, which means there's too many people there. Um, you can still do anything as long as you're in a zone above capacity, except attack. You cannot okay. attack if you're in a zone that's above capacity. Okay. Um, and since this is a horde, getting back out of that zone is going to require a check. Okay. Mm. Um, all that right. Uh, next up. <laughs> Abe. Okay, so... I've read this a couple of times and I forgot how this worked since the last time I read it, oh, like a couple months ago. So how does, how far away is melee range? Because that's the range of my telepathy. Melee range is in the same zone and zones are like 15, 20 foot areas. That's what I right thought. Right now, okay. you, uh, the entire party, the um, everybody except Scrotum is in one zone. And then the next one uh, further along in the plane is the one with the horde of tiny space balls in it. And then behind that is Father John. Okay. I don't know exactly how this works, so stop me if it doesn't do this. But I want to say to my two, three friends, that's right, he's not here, but he's here. Um, I want to say to everybody okay. tele telepathically, I'm going to take off. Everyone should get in the cockpit, and I'll decompress the cabin as soon as we get into space. Okay. You have a moment to respond if you want. <laughs> uh, great kid. Don't get cocky. <laughs> yeah. My response is beep. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I'm going to, I'm going to say that uh, Ralphie barely registers anything and continues bounding towards the toilet. Makes sense. Yeah. I'm not a good shot. I'm, I am a pilot and I'm just going to do that. That's what I'm going to do. Do a few if donuts right. or something. If I find some other way of like messing with people, like release gas into the main cabin or something, I'll be playing <laughs> with switches. All right. So do you? Uh, you still have your action. That was that was for free. You can talk for free, pretty much, as long as it's not you know a monologue. No, a monologue I'd allow. Uh, not a, not a long dialogue. That that would be against the rules, um, because as with any good anime or other cartoon talking is a free action time stops. Um, <clears throat> yep time stops as you're you know no matter how fast you're going you just freeze um so you haven't taken an action yet uh you still have your action and your movement if you so choose to use it um so it sounds like uh you want to either uh start piloting this thing and turn the jet on and start flying it or um, investigate the controls and try to find something cool and useful. I want to start with trying to get the engine started, and I know that there'll probably be some... You know what, never mind. I don't know how actual engines work. So yes, I want to just try to start flying. If I have a moment to spare, I'm going to look at like, oh, this ejects all mini space balls from the plane. Look at that. 
<laughs> it's, there's a button for that. <laughs> the um, red button. Go Third ahead. from the left, second down. <laughs> <laughs> like um, go ahead button. and <laughs> just all of them. It's just like a oh, polka dot. All right. <laughs> <laughs> um, go ahead and make a check. And I believe you, since you have the pilot uh, talent, you get to use a D8 on this. Yes. Two. A two is a success. Uh, fortunately, it looks like all the pre-flight checks are already done. He was like getting ready to go, and he just left it perfect for you. So you know hey. exactly what the last three buttons to push, and in what order you need to push them in order to start the engines. And you hear the uh, engines beginning beginning to rev up, um, and oh, that is a sound. success. Okay. <laughs> All right, uh, that was Abe's turn. John is next. And John is going to uh, take a shot at... Um, what I thought he's going to take a shot at the one that's closest to him. So how attack rolls for enemies or monsters work in sagas is they don't roll. They're not rolls. They're just attacks. You are going to have to roll. So, uh, Scrotum, please give me an avoid check as uh, <laughs> Father John fires his pea stole at you. <laughs> okay. So that, that's I, um, the... I don't see anything that <laughs> says um, what I roll for an avoid check. So I'm assuming that's a D10. That's correct. Okay. I got an eight. I'm screwed. That is correct. You lose <laughs> one health as this sickening yellow ray of energy collides with your uh, undercarriage. Did it have to be yellow? Okay. Yes. So, That's just how the pea stool works. Right. So I've reduced my health by one. D does that mean I have a wound? Do I have to mark anything there or is that just leave that for now? Um, <laughs> we're going to give you the wound stinky. All checks made to try to smell good must use D12. Mm. Stinky. I have no sense of smell, so I don't even notice. Okay. So D <laughs> Amazing. D12 to smell good. That is going to be very difficult to do. Okay, I got it. Perfect. Uh, that was John's turn. He's going to hang out right there. Now it's time for the space balls. And um, this is one of my favorite monster mechanics in the game. As um, you see all these tiny little robot men with white balls for heads, um, crackling with green energy, continue to let's swarm around and try to block Scrotum's progress, um, they all sort of like suddenly stop and turn and face the front of the uh, front of the jet. And they all begin to levitate as their heads pulse in unison. Um, and one of them rises slightly higher than the rest. Suddenly, a dozen beams of green light shoot up towards this one space ball. And a giant laser, as its mouth opens, a, mouth, a hole opens in the front of its face. And just this huge, enormous Death Star laser um, comes careening out of its face. Um, right. This is the sacrificial beam ability. So this one is going to explode and just get completely demolished as this attack goes off. It loses one health automatically from doing this attack, but I need everybody to please make avoid checks. Five. All right, so that's a D10. I am not special in combat. I didn't know oh, three. I got a th I got a nine. I'm really got a three. Well. Ooh, and and the mog, the mog gets an eight. Everybody except Ham Solal loses one health as okay. the beam sears through all of you, and that I believe brings Scrotum down to zero. Oh uh -oh. hell yeah! Yes, it oh. does. I am on so, zero. Cool. Another one of my favorite mechanics, two right in a row, uh, is what happens when you reach zero health in sagas. You have a decision to make, Fred. 
is Scrotum going to fall unconscious? There's a there's a possibility he'll survive. Um, you know, he could still take damage and continue dying at this point. Or are you going to take your last stand here? Short version of these rules is you get a huge power boost, but death is certain. Oh, huge power boost. Death is certain. Amazing. <laughs> so um, for until you die, you, all of your checks get one additional die. All of your attacks do one additional damage. Um, and at the end of your turn, you spend one effort. You have to just spend one effort to stay on your feet or so remain on my turn, I reduce, I, I reduce my effort by one, basically. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got it. At the, at the end of his turn, though, right? Right. Or is that the beginning? Yeah. Yeah. Got it. I'll, like, I'll read out the the um I, I got the I got it. I got um, it. I, I get I get two dice for everything and um and I, I lose an effort at the end of my turn when it's my turn. Nice. Right. Got um it. there are a couple other things. Um in because you're at zero health, if you take damage, you lose effort instead. Okay. Um you cannot be healed at all by any means. Um and uh, you lose one effort at the end of each of your turns. Damage you take. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. That's everything. Okay. Um, the only way you can gain effort is via the encourage action from your allies. And a reminder on what that is, you can choose to spend your action to encourage someone within earshot and give any amount of your effort to them. Mm. Okay. All right. Cool. Good to know. All right. I'll be doing that telepathically. Can I like find the radio station and it starts playing Blaze of Glory? Yes. <laughs> Blaze of Glory or Blaze Quick, of find glory? it. Let's demonetize Wally. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. We're not be coming back. All right. <laughs> At long last, it is Ralphie's turn. Now, I don't know what AJ's stat block is, but I'm going to guess that um, D10 on most things. Uh, Ralphie is going to continue bounding forward into, uh, use the movement to get into the zone with all of the bad guys, uh, with the horde of tiny space balls, and then use uh, his second, his, his actual action to move again and try to get out of that zone, but that's going to require a check. And that is the first one he's succeeded on. <laughs> and so at the end of uh, at the end of Ralphie's turn, he is standing there right in front of the terrifying Father John and his pea stool, slobbering, ready to urinate. Yeah. Remember, uh, AJ said that that is flammable. <laughs> yes. Yes, it's, it is. Uh, Yes. Flammable urine. <laughs> God, this is that's we greased up uh, on the pizzas on the way here. Remember the pizzas? Because yeah. he's driving. That's he's why like, there's just so much grease in it. There is. Yeah. It's like, no, he's it's the alcohol. Remember, he was drinking all that alcohol because that's why his pee is. Uh huh. That's, that's, yep. That's that's him. Him. yep. It's because he's been drinking so much alcohol. Oh, and kidney he's, failure. He's oh, so that. intoxicated, his urine is flammable. <laughs> yes, that's what that's the way sagas works. <laughs> that's right. It is the way sagas works. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, all right, that's Ralphie's turn, and we are back to, to the top with Scrotum and Ham. Which okay. one of you would like to go first? This time? Um, I'll go first. Uh, is there anything that I can shoot that would help Scrotum? You have a gun, don't you? Yeah. Wait, yeah, you mean I mean, keeping him stuck? Yeah, I mean, I because I'm envisioning, is there like a swarm of uh, these little space nuggets? And then there's like... Other yeah, there's nuggets? like... There's like almost a dozen of them uh, between wow, you and nuggets. Father John. Wow. Making me hungry. Okay. Because um, I need Scrotum to get to Father John. Can I run up and push Scrotum through the swarm? And out of it oh yeah you can That's so you I... move you take your movement and you go into the swarm itself and you're using your action to try to move scrotum out of the swarm and towards father john go That's ahead exactly and doing, make yes. a check to so, so I'll, push scrotum. am i am i allowed to use one of my effort to assist him in me um, being pushed out of the swarm 
But you need to spend uh, that. It would require two effort. But remember, then, when you reach zero health and zero effort, you die. Because you're in your last stand. It's going to happen anyway. And um, I've taken I have two. a four. I deny the help. Okay. I had a four. All right. Uh, let me double check. Because there is an actual stat for this. Um, for exactly how difficult it is to move out. I have the sweet talk ability. Zone. Can I sweet talk my way to push him? <laughs> <laughs> Depends. What do you say? <laughs> sweet baby child. You just need to be pushed on out of here. <laughs> beep, beep, must destroy. <laughs> 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 yeah. Um, the difficulty is four and ties in sagas go to the player. Yes. So that is a success as you That's okay. <laughs> as boring conversation Ham... anyway. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Sorry. Are you right there, Dennis? Dean my uh, I'm I'm so good. I'm okay. so good. This is exactly where I want to be. <laughs> okay. Good to know. Um so you uh pick up scrotum bodily and just lob lob it across flying over the sparking horde of mini space balls <laughs> and it lands with a metallic thum on the floor on the other side and yep. scrotum you and your um newly made mog friend are there yet again facing down impossible odds just like you were with the giant cube <laughs> Okay. All right. Good to know. So it is now my turn, if I remember right. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> I believe I have, I get to roll two dice when I roll dice, correct? Uh, that is correct because you're in your last stand. In my last stand. Exactly. Can okay. I give him effort now? How does that work? Uh, yes. You just have to be able to justify being able to help him. No, you mean effort to keep him alive or effort to help him? There's, there's oh, a... you mean, uh, yeah, so one. are you using the help action or are you trying, go, do you want to give him actual effort? I've already got some actual effort, right? But there's no point giving me effort because I've got all my effort right now. I'm going to lose one at the end of right. my turn. I haven't had a chance to do that yet. You'll be able to encourage and give some of your effort points to him when it is your turn, you'll you you be mm -hmm. you have to use your action for that. Yeah, yeah. So okay, then yeah, I'll wait. Just, just, Thank just, you. just hold off. And uh, so yeah, so what I would like to do, since I, I have no real um, attacking ability, uh, is I would like to pull out one of my little tools, okay, and unbolt the seats, one of the seats beside the Johnson toilet, and <laughs> and then sort of nudge it over so it falls on him um amazing um i'm gonna say that this is mechanics <laughs> I, I, no i just i just love that this is happening this, we're gonna say that this is an attack but i'm gonna say that this is with a weapon at this point because you are so used to using the tools that do everything in this case unbolt and flip over chairs so i will say you don't have to use a d12 on this you can use a d10 um, which means i get and two d10 since you're in your last stand you get two uh, and if you hit that's two damage at okay. minimum two let's do this let's roll it roll it roll it roll it so i rolled a three and a two so it's a two Ooh. that is a two that is a hit as this chair you unbolt you unbolted it and you're like pulling it down and the chair crashes into the porcelain seat and you can see a huge crack appear in in his mouth and now he looks like he's got missing teeth um and ah uh, how dare you do that i'll get you for that and he winds up like he's going to shoot you um <clears throat> But uh, this, it is now Abe's turn. And I have now reduced one um, of my and, 
And it is the end of your turn, so you spend an effort to keep kicking. But you dealt two damage, which is significant. Um, is there anything that I need to be doing at this point to get the plane in the air? Uh, you have you have a choice. You can encourage uh, and give your effort, or you can make a check to continue to get the plane in the air. Why can't I do both? Does it take two actions? To you encourage? only have one action. And encourage oh. is an action. Making a check is also an action. What's the difference between actions and effort? Am I confused? I'm confused. You're doing something. So that's an action. If you're moving around and changing position, you're moving. It's a system that has two action economy, not three. It's not Pathfinder. So you move, you do an action. Pretty simple. Well, good. Well, what is effort then? If, if it, Effort it's... is a representation of your short-term energy. Um, if you're encouraging someone, you can give, you can use your action to give your effort to that person. But if you're spending your own effort, that doesn't cost anything. That's what helping and comboing is. Mm. Oh, okay. Um, then yeah, I'll encourage him. Is he out of my telepathy range? Rule of cool. No, 100% <laughs> within your telepathy range. <laughs> okay. So that means I get one effort back. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. You can do it, you big All ball right. of guts. Rip them apart. <laughs> All right, done. <laughs> it's always good to keep those on their last stand alive. <laughs> um, unfortunately, it is now Father John's turn. Little John. Wait, when he got hit, is he bleeding? <laughs> What is the blood? Um, there is there's water sloshing out of his seat mouth because there's holes in it and he's missing teeth. Uh, but no, the uh, toilets, as far as I know, don't bleed. Okay, that's I'm gonna clip that for a short. <laughs> 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 no, as far as I know, toilets. Amazing. <laughs> um. So it is short. his turn, and he is going to, um, instead of shooting his pistol, he is going to, uh, sorry, his pea stool, um, <laughs> he is going to um, leap into the air and cra and <laughs> and he's going to land right on top of um, Scrotum. So. Please make another avoid check. You're in your last stand, so right. you get two, two dice, dice. And I you roll mm -hmm. two ten, two ten sided dice. So I'm being body slammed by a toilet. That That's, is correct. Okay. I hate when that happens. This is yeah. a funny one. It just ruins I, my day. I rolled an eight and a six, so that's six. And with a six, you needed a five. You take one damage, but instead of losing health, you lose effort. So I lose one effort. And I yep. can't assist him, can I? You've already done oh, that. Defense? You've already done that. I well, you don't, yeah, you don't have, at this point, you wouldn't have effort to spend. If you had two effort, you could give the help action and he'd get one more die on it. But you'd have to spend two effort to do that. Okay. Yeah. I swear but, I read but, the rules, I just don't remember them. <laughs> Yeah, but your one effort <laughs> it's is okay. keeping them alive. You don't need though. to read the rules. That's what Dennis is here. Otherwise, why would we bring Dennis along? Come on, come on, it's easy. That's right. Who who actually read the rules beforehand? None. Not yeah, that's what I thought. Me. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't <laughs> I'm I'm winging it. Um, all right. Uh, next up is the space balls. Um, and they are going to um begin swarming. They, they're going to stay in the same spot, but different ones are going to shoot smaller versions of their face beams uh, in uh, different directions. Uh, this is a close range attack, so everybody's in range. Uh, one of them is going to shoot at Ralphie. The other one is going to shoot at Ham. So Ham, okay. please give me a, a void check. Okay. Uh, does my helmet help anything with this? Yes, this is a powered attack, so you get a D8 on this. Yes. <laughs> Even though my D10 was hot, I'm going with the D8. Oh, shit. Eight. <laughs> oh, 
no. It's, I have the lucky trait. Oh, oh, I don't have any effort. Oh. <laughs> no. Because Lucky's really cool. Uh, yeah. I like that one a lot. What a roller coaster. Because uh, yeah. okay. if I recall Eight. correctly, it, if you have Lucky, when you roll the highest possible number on a die, mm -hmm. you can spend one effort and turn it into a success instead. Uh, yeah, two Yeah, two effort, actually. Yeah, two. Oh, two effort. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's why I got excited, and then I remembered I, I I spent my two effort trying to catch the dog. It was necessary. That's okay. Yeah. It was necessary. Yeah. Hurry up okay. and miss so that you can get some effort back. Yeah. <laughs> um, that is, so you take one point of damage. <gasps> you take one more point of damage. Is that rolled an eight? No, yeah, because you you rolled an eight as the face laser uh, strikes you. Uh, so Ralphie takes one, but he succeeded on the giant face laser. This would be your second point of damage, right? My second? I don't know what that means. No, you succeeded. You succeeded on the face laser. So actually, yeah. Ralphie is the one at zero health. Yeah. No! 100% going to enter last stand, though. <laughs> yeah. Oh, absolutely. There's no question. You know, you should you should have uh, a, a a by the mercy of everything holy roll, which you'd have to roll like a D100. <laughs> oh, and you need a one or it doesn't a work. Yeah. <laughs> Cruelty. <God. laughs> <It's> Cruelty. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. And... As uh, Ralphie, it is now Ralphie's turn. And as Ralphie enters his last stand, he goes into a rabid dog-like rage. And as chat has been calling for, yeah, I see you, uh, has been calling for this whole time, Ralphie just starts to run around and pee goes everywhere, covers everything. It's nasty. Um, but in that rage... Uh, Ralphie is going to uh, lunge towards Father John and make an attack against him. I can't say I've ever angrily peed. <laughs> <laughs> I Still know. on the bucket list for me, too. <laughs> I already know what I want to do. <laughs> um, that is a uh, success. So as uh, the dog is going to, or sorry, not the dog, the mog, uh, Ralphie is going to uh, concentrate for a moment and aim this stream straight at John, who <laughs> um, for some Butter reason toilet. doesn't like pee, even though he's a toilet <laughs> and has a pee stool. Uh, he's so angry. And that deals... Uh, nope, last stand. That's two points of damage. And uh, brings us back to the top. And I think Scrotum already knows what he's going to do. Yes, since I'm near the top. Unless, of course, um, Ham wanted to, Ham Solo wanted to do anything, I'm ready to it, do. It's up to you. You can you can yep. go for it. I sure. I activate. Uh, I, I'm, I'm right. Okay, I move up to um, <clears throat> Johnson. Uh, and uh, and I activate my flaming torch tool, and I light them. I light them up because it's covered in flammable liquid. That oh makes yes, you are gonna burn. Um, <laughs> so as you're making this attack roll, um, Ralphie is going to th uh, through use of urine going to combo with you. So if you hit this attack. You deal one extra damage. Um, and you're already rolling two dice, and you already do two damage because you're in your last stand. Uh, and with Johnson on his last legs, uh, is there anything you two want to do? I'm going to watch this. <laughs> nice. I'm rolling my two ten sided um, dice. This is an all attack. Right. Of dice. Let's go. All right. <laughs> this oh, is where no. you put dice. I rolled oh, no. a nine and a seven. It's only a seven. The best I got was a seven. Ah! The best I got was um, a seven. Um, um, um. 
Damn. No, nope, I can't think of anything. <laughs> no, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen badly. It's not gonna go down well. This is. <laughs> um. Yeah. And that would be the end. It of is a very team. stereotypical fail. As you take out your torch, and you are ready, you touch it to that puddle right at John's feet. You hear a click. And your lighter a lot of fuel is not oh, I'm ready lighting. For my lot of fuel. It's, it's not, uh, not, uh, okay. <laughs> All right. I am now on zero health and zero effort. Because that's the end of my turn. What happens? You die. <laughs> so when I, when, when I die how do I die do I explode do yes, I just yes, he explodes. do I explode do that's I that's up to you yep you explode I'm, not, I'm I'm just asking I'm just asking do I explode do I just go and suddenly it's just a a soccer ball in the in the jet or um a big round ball that could be used for a paperweight I, I'm so I'm asking you so if 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 yeah if, if I have the choice of going out, it's explode. <laughs> you take the self-destruct this... module. <laughs> Wait, here's, I, I... here's what happens. Um, as you're trying furiously to get this thing to like... Um, there is a spark and you're like, oh, finally, it's going gonna, it's gonna to light. But instead, the spark is one of electricity and it shoots up your single torch arm. <laughs> And you just feel yourself entirely short circuit seize and turn into a paperweight. I'm okay. ah! <laughs> and <Scrooge> as <laughs> I'm gonna look over and be like, I'm gonna look over at Ava and be like, oh, that R2 unit has a bad motivator. <laughs> <laughs> it reminds me of R five D four when the Jawas sold them to Luke. It just starts. Yep, I I remember. I remember. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yep, yep. <laughs> um, it is now Ham's turn. All right. Um, am I still in the swarm? You are still in the swarm. You All cannot right. currently attack. I would like to try to uh, step out of the swarm. All right. That's going to require a movement check. Uh, that is a difficulty four. That is a seven. You are completely covered in these things as they grab onto your feet and lump and leap onto your back. Um, nice. You cannot get more than a couple feet. Um, oh. You still have a, that was your movement. You still have an yeah. action, which you can use to do anything but attack, including we, move again. Can I sweet talk him? You can attempt to convince these things to get off your back. But last time you tried that, they uh, revealed themselves am, to be homicidally inclined. Don't you see the helmet? I am here to help the toilet. Get out of my way, please. Oh, all right. Go ahead and make your check. All right. Sweet talks of D8. Gosh, damn, I take another eight. <laughs> <laughs> Lies! Kill him! <laughs> that D8 sucks. <laughs> all right. That's it for me. All right. Abe, you're up. I wish I took explosive instead of communication device because it hasn't mattered. Um, the pistol that I stole, does it, what does it shoot? Like lasers, electricity, bullets, foam pellets, what? You have no idea. Like I said, you've never seen this model before. Okay, and I think I'm right that I have no effort left, right? I believe so. Okay. Oh, I'm but gonna... um, Wally... Ham just failed two checks in a row. I have two effort again. Yes, yes. you do. Thank you. 
Uh, I'm going to try to shoot the oily urine on the toilet and hope that it's actually a laser pistol. <laughs> <laughs> Um, is it like a shitty pistol? Should I use a D12 instead of a D10? No, it's not quite that shitty. Okay. <laughs> One! <gasps> that is a crit. You do <laughs> one additional point of damage. I don't have anything for shooting. <laughs> <laughs> so, <clears throat> you, you take this pistol and you, uh, point you like you're like still in the cockpit seat and you turn around aim behind you and out of the out of the end of this barrel shoots out of the end of this barrel shoots a small foam dart And immediately, this um, the John over there is wet, so the uh, suction cup at the end uh, sticks very well, and you just, you just hear this. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're like, "God, dang it! Why can't I?" Um, and you see, you take a second glance at it, and everyone now can see a tiny little blinking light at the end of the dart. Dink, 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 Oh, ding, please, ding, Mother ding, in Heaven, ding, 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 ding. And this incendiary ammo erupts in flame. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a bad feeling about this. We'll <laughs> 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 be fine. <laughs> You're going to need a new uh, chance. <laughs> <laughs> and oh with that, Father John screams into oblivion as he is burned to a crisp <laughs> cracks begin to form in the in the seat before the heat and coldness within him cause the uh ceramic to <laughs> explode into a thousand shards love it <laughs> the toilet was the bad guy this is great great shot kid don't get cocky <laughs> All of the, uh, all of the little, the little guys, the toy soldiers, the mini space balls, short circuit, like they were somehow connected to Father John, and as one, they collapsed to the ground. Oh my goodness! I didn't and mean you to can do that. see. You see uh, your friend Scrotum lying there pushed to the side of the alleyway of, of the aisle from the force of the explosion and the mog your friend ralphie breathing heavily quick get him a he slice was on of his pizza. last stand i grab the first aid kit out of off of the wall of the cockpit because there's always one there and then i run over to the mog one of you you find that first aid kit and it's it's there and you have a healing device that you were able to heal with but one of the effects of last stand is you cannot be healed mm. i go oh my friend i'm he's very hurt i think this i think this ralphie can you hear me can you hear me friend i think this is <gasps> beyond my strength to heal can you just hang on there? We'll get you to a good doctor. I huh? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> we'll get you to someone who knows what they're doing. Uh, do I like know anyone in the galaxy that could help him? Because if so, I'll just go fly there. Even if he dies on along the way. Um... You you don't know anyone with enough skill to heal these wounds, unfortunately. May the swords be with him. Yes. I have a struggle called poor memory, so I'm like, what the, what the fuck is that guy? <laughs> <laughs> Master, how could you say such a thing? I'm your best oh. friend. Oh, that's right. It's okay, Ralphie. We'll get you some help. It's okay. 
Do I have to roll the lie? I'm lying. <laughs> uh, yeah, go ahead. Roll, roll the lie to Ralphie. I'm crying too. Five. <gasps> What's that? <laughs> <sighs> Okay. All right. <laughs> Good last words. <laughs> Fade to <Huh>? black. <laughs> Fade to black. <laughs> Fade to black. All right. <laughs> 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 well, while he's in there crying, uh, Ham Solo's going to go drive the Winnebago. <laughs> <laughs> the Winnebago that doesn't start that doesn't and it hasn't start, been able yeah. to go. Poor That's memory. Right. <laughs> Poor memory. <laughs> All right. Well um, done. Uh, that was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You guys were, this was, this was a blast. I came here yeah. expecting nothing but chaos and that's exactly what we got. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming that Sapien will have figured out how to uh, get that jet off the ground and uh, flown away. With uh, actually, if I recall correctly, Vinny is still there. He's he was just yeah. hanging out in the background, watching all of this happen in the limo. Yeah, yeah. I was wonder wondering if the limo <laughs> driver had actually gone oh, with the limo. God, and yeah. and and yeah, we could have just got into limo and left, but we didn't. Um, instead, we tried nope. to <laughs> take uh take the jet. I, although I have to say, I I, uh, I wanted to be able to face down the um the portaloo. Um. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been anticlimactic otherwise. Yeah. <laughs> well, Thanks, if anybody in chat or listening to this VOD wants to get their hands on the same chaos that we just went through, um, it's in Kickstarter right now. Yes. There's a link in the description where you can go uh, support the Kickstarter. Um, you can get uh, some of your own stuff to. You can invent your own world to run it in. You can run it in any of the worlds we have that I've run it in. Uh, we've done Pokemon. We've obviously now done Spaceballs. We've done the video game series Horizon Zero Dawn. We've done Lord of the Rings. We've done westerns. We've done. If you can think of it, it's been done at this point pretty much we keep trying to find settings that won't work with sagas and we just haven't yet everything has worked surprisingly well um so if you want it yeah. it's down there you you yeah. can go support it absolutely yeah definitely uh check it out link is below um uh, support your small third party creators that's that's uh very very important that's us and it's a and it's a very good system, very simple, very uh, very fun, um, exactly. And you can have a crowbar if you want. I love that. I have a crowbar. And yes, use it. I you can. <laughs> well, it's super easy to fill out, and the character is easy to make. Yeah, you can have yeah. a lot of different concepts and just take things that fit that and like fill in the blank with narratives. So it's a very useful toolkit. And I'm, I'm sure once Dennis gets his uh, Kickstarter funded and the final product is through that um, Fred will say, just send the thing to me for free. Now, I'm not going to pay for it. Just send it to me for free and I'll make some characters <laughs> on my channel because I do. This is what I do with all all of the creators that I come across. It's like, <laughs> no, I'm not going to buy your book. No, no, you just send it to me and you pay for, <laughs> you pay for postage and, and I'll I'll do some demonstrations. How's, how's four weeks of uh, demonstrating how that, that game system works and some character creation? And since um, character creation takes all of about five to fifteen minutes, um, I, yep. can, I can <laughs> I can finish my stream early, and uh, yeah, you can make whatever the heck you like. Uh, well, yeah, since yeah. I, I don't usually make things on my live streams, when I do yeah. make things, I get you guys to do that work. Yeah, and, and definitely, <laughs> you know who uh, you and, and and definitely um, the silly the silliness of today was just something that that uh, that we did. I mean, um, sagas isn't uh silly it's it's you can it can be whatever you want it to be it can be a serious game it can be you know yeah all that stuff whatever you want it to be you can lean into whatever it really it really yes. hard i have i've run yeah, like one of the adventures that we're going to be pushing out with uh sagas once it's funded is going to be cosmic horror in a trailer park and i mm. have scared the pants off of people with this adventure 
Um, but fun. then you get nonsense like this. Like, whatever you want to do, Sagas is going to be able to do it and do it well. Um, yeah. And I just want to say thank you very much to Wally for hosting this nonsense, to Fred for setting it up, um, and to Jake for being here along for the ride. <laughs> <laughs> And well, AJ it, it, for being it, it, present for part of it before we yes, 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 leave, absolutely. unfortunately. Yes. Yeah, and very good. Thank you to Norok for the super chat. Oh, thank you. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Norok. Thanks, Norok. Appreciate that. Appreciate and that. And the statement, Chaos is King, is completely true. Yes. Is. Yes. It Chaos is, is King. Mm -hmm. That is for sure. This so, is correct. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So let's uh, go ahead and, and get us out of here. Um, if you have any questions uh, for Dennis about this, uh, where, where can they reach out to you if they have any questions about sagas? Just um, All of my socials, so Twitter or X or whatever, uh, Instagram, threads, all of it, you can find me at okayist underscore underscore DM. Or you can go down to the Kickstarter. Inside that uh, Kickstarter page, there is a link to the sagas Discord, and I'm there a lot too. There you go. Cool. Sounds good. Yep, I uh, just jumped on board today, so uh, let's get it funded. Cool. Uh, Fred, you want to take us out of here? Uh, can I say one I'm, thing? I'm dead. I, I, okay. I'm, oh, I'm, that's right. I'll I'm a paperweight now. I'm a paperweight. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Don't expect what, a paperweight what? to do anything. Uh, Jake. <laughs> I just wanted to say, um, I played a lot of Steve Jackson games and a lot of cheap-ass games and a lot of just games that were bare bones. This is way more useful than bare bones, but it still has the flexibility. It's really nice to have that open field. Yeah. I'm just saying I like the game. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I dig it as well. Good. All right. I'm glad. Um, it makes me happy. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. This is the uh, Game Master Roundtable. We'll be back at a future date. Um, until then, everyone, uh, take care. Um, do all that other stuff. Uh, I'm trying to find where to shut this off at. Uh, so while he's doing that, I will it. say, I will wave and say bye. And yes, for those of you who are wondering, um, I was the one who suggested space balls. I and Dennis was so easy to convince. I was it's, wondering. It was under <laughs> <laughs> the next. Everyone. Was, yeah. See you later. <laughs> <laughs>